uh, her name is Vaya, and her little calf. I think that represents so much of our culture. <coughs> the caring for love and the love, deep, deep love. I am not a reindeer herder. My tradition, uh, my way of carrying out the sun tradition and culture is by the joy that you heard in the beginning, and I will speak a little bit more about the joy that is our traditional way of seeing. But the great care for this animal that has formed our culture, that you tend to this animal and we move with this animal and we move with, with nature. Uh, and all the years based upon the reindeer. So we say that the first day of the year is when the first calf is born. And then it goes through the year. And uh, when I was asked to speak about song spirituality, the one thing that comes first is nature. That is so formed of nature as we see ourselves as nature. There is no, no borders. We are nature. So when, whatever happens to nature happens to us. And I would say that goes for everyone in the whole world. Uh, and to feel that the earth is our mother, and she loves us, and she cares for us, and he, she gives her, us all these blessings. And um, in some people, it's like in the magic people, we have moved. Now we're more based in the places in the modern time, but we still move. Uh, uh, with the reindeers, like in the summer, the ones that live near the mountains, they have the reindeers in the mountains during the summer, and then in the um, then in, in the summer they have them in the forest. I come from a, an area where we have the reindeers always in the forest. It's called like the forest uh, summer people, and um, so it's very much that. And also what uh, nature says to us is that we belong and um, we are connected. And as my people have been so dependent on how nature is, how is the weather today? How can we move with the reindeers? There is such a dependence in a good way with nature and with the earth and the sky. And um, mm -hmm. so um, I uh, was uh, doing a joke for you, especially for this moment. And the joke is uh, the Sami traditional way of singing. And uh, you say that you joik something. You're not singing about something. When you joik something, and uh, that thing, that person, that place, or uh, that feeling comes alive in the moment. So, yeah, you can join a person that you feel very much for, or maybe you need to express something that you feel, or you can uh, join like a reindeer or uh, a big mountain. And when you join, for example, you can join people that are not alive in the physical world. And when you join them, they become alive with us, here, present. And that's how we also preserve the memory of, of our people. And it's a very cool thing. So the joy is like a way of remembrance of life. And uh, yeah. And it can be like a form, it can have words in it, and uh, a special melody, but it can also be totally improvised. And um, for some people, it's very, very private. I've asked my elders when they were alive, do you enjoy it? And they were like, no. But I believe they did it, maybe when they were out with the reindeer, so alone. But for some people, like myself, it's uh, more uh, uh, outgoing than the joy. So, um, um, 
we are going to join a person that uh, was very dear to me. And you can see him here in the picture. His name was Nils Hendrik, and he was one of my elders. And also in the Sami tradition and the way of Sami, we really honor our elders. They're always with us in the lands, uh, in spirit with us. Uh, and also in the feeling of the future and the children to come. But I was, um, and he said that he, uh, uh, he told me he loved his reindeers and he said, when the reindeers are, um, reindeers are good, I'm good. So um, when you're in the summer, you, you gather all the reindeers when the calves are born and you mark the ears of the calves the same mark as their mother has, and then you know that these reindeers I, I tend to extra. And uh, when they run in, the, in this um, area, they go, and uh, the little calves, they go, mother, 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 mother. And their mother says, I am here, I am here. And, uh, we're just going to play with that a little bit. You can join me. It sound, of course, like this a little bit. You can try. Wow.
so I think we will save mostly all the things uh, in through the music from now on. And um, uh, this is a story, and I believe as you are actually working on the future and the heritage. Um, this is a story about my grandmother, and um, her name was Anne but she was given a nickname by her grandfather, and that was Anne Mano, that means like the child of the moon. And in our history, uh, the sound waves have been deeply suppressed, uh, our language. Uh, our, the joy has been forbidden, our drums were burned, and the list goes on, and also the devastation of the forest and everything that still goes on. My village is within the biggest military area, uh, so um, that has preserved the nature. It, is, it has been for thousands of years, but also there is a special situation uh, because of this. So. We can just bear that in mind for the healing of that. But uh, when she was, uh, when my grandmother Anna was about five years old, her um, her mother wanted to leave Ucha and take her daughter with her, and uh, maybe to seek another life because it wasn't so easy to be uh, a Sami at that time. We don't know these things. But Anamana's uh, grandfather, he cried, and he cried, and he joyed her joy. He didn't know he, if he was ever to see his granddaughter again. So this is a song about that for well, but this is also a song about the circles of life, when the right time is there, and they heal. We have returned, my father and I. So, um.